There's a property that I'm loving. Listen up, let me tell you something, yeah. You will always get an answer of nothing. If you multiply by zero, you will always get a zero as the answer to the equation. A number times zero or zero times a number, the answer will always be none other. If you see a zero, then you will just know. Multiply and the answer is zero. Two times zero is always zero. Zero times a hundred equals zero. Anything times zero equals zero. Oh yeah. Eight thousand four hundred and thirty-three times zero. What will the answer be? I have a feeling you already know. It's a zero. Multiply by zero when you get a zero. The answer will always be a zero. If in the equation there is a zero. It's a zero. Multiply by zero when you get a zero. The answer will always be a zero. If in the equation there is a zero. So listen, if you want a zero, then you will get a zero. The zero product property will always give a zero. This is really easy and it's even kind of fun, fun. We're talking about a product, so we do not want a sum, sum. We are not adding, no subtracting, no dividing. We're talking about a product, so you know we're multiplying. If A multiplied by B equals zero, then either the A or B equals zero. It's a zero. Multiply by zero when you get a zero. The answer will always be a zero. If in the equation there is a zero. It's a zero. Multiply by zero when you get a zero. The answer will always be a zero. If in the equation there is a zero, it's a zero.